The Summer and Winter Olympic Games are undoubtedly the best international sporting events in the world. It's extremely competitive out there. Thousands of athletes from over 200 nations compete against each other. Winning a medal is a whole other ball game. But which country has come out on top of the others? Stay tuned because in this video, we'll be talking about the 10 greatest countries in the Olympic Games. Starting at number 10, Australia. Australia has bagged up an impressive 560. 62 medals, of which 169 are gold, of the rest 178 are silver and 215 are bronze. So what's their biggest strength? Water. 62% of Australia's Summer Games medals involve water in some shape or form. Whether it's swimming, rowing, sailing, diving, or water polo, this continent's medal count is tilted towards sports on the water. Sadly though, they've never won a medal in steeplechase. Keeping in line with this, their most decorated Olympian is swimmer Emma McKeon, who has racked up an impressive 11 Olympic medals, out of which five are gold. She is tied for the most medals won in a single Olympics by a woman, as she won four gold and three bronze medals at the Tokyo Olympics. Moving on to number nine, Norway. Norway has won 528 medals, which is crazy when you realize it has a tiny population of 5 million. Of these medals, 192 are gold, 176 are silver, and 160 are bronze. What's more, Norway has been dominating the Winter Olympics. At the 2022 Winter Olympics, Norway was sitting atop the medal table, and it was nothing new. The country has only been outside the top four tables once since 1992. Many are puzzled about how this small Scandinavian country manages to take on such bigger rivals. However, the answer has nothing to do with their cold weather. Norway's success can be attributed largely to its emphasis on grassroots participation in winter sports. They start them young. Next up at number 8, Great Britain. Great Britain has an impressive resume of 948 medals, of which 296 are gold, 320 are silver, and 332 are bronze. So, who do they owe their success to? Jason Kenney is the UK's most successful Olympian. He leads the sport of track cycling with 8 medals, of which 6 are gold. At number 2 is Chris Hoy who also dominated track cycling with seven medals, of which six are gold. Track road cyclist Bradley Wiggins also boasts eight medals, of which five are gold. This country has clearly got a strength, followed by Russia. At number seven, Russia holds an impressive 547 medals, of which 196 are gold, 164 are silver, and 187 are bronze. If there's one game they absolutely dominate in, it's artistic swimming. Russia has won every gold medal in the sport since 2000. Now that's just crazy. The sport used to be called synchronized swimming, and only two other countries, namely US and Canada, had won a gold medal in it before. Ever since then, though, it's been all Russia. The country's choreographers no doubt seek inspiration from the long Russian ballet tradition for discipline. Duet favorites Svetlana Romashina and Svetlana Kolesneschenko dominate the sport in terms of popularity. Romashina has already won five gold medals. She once opened up about how people always assume she'll win again, asking how she'll spend her prize money before the competition's even launched. Next, at number six, France. France has bagged 874 medals, of which 258 are gold, 289 are silver, and 327 are bronze. Yep, we're just as starstruck as you are. Their most decorated and successful Olympian is Martin Forcade, who has won five Olympic gold medals. That's certainly no easy feat. He won three in Pyeongchang in 2018 as a follow-up to the two he won at the 2001 Sochi Games. There's no particular game that this country dominates in, but perhaps they've cracked the code and figured out that the easiest way to rack up the medals is if no one else competes. Some sports came around just once, giving the host nation an easy medal haul. That's exactly what happened in the Paris Games of 1900 when France swept up all seven medals for croquet because no one outside France competed. Moving forward at number five, Canada. Canada has an impressive tally of 525 medals, of which 144 are gold, 172 are silver, and 209 are bronze. They're taking their sports seriously. Their star athlete has got to be Penny Oleksiak. This swimmer has won a total of seven Olympic medals, of which one is gold. Now that's impressive. However, if we 
we look at it in terms of the most gold medals, the winner has got to be the rowing duo, Kathleen Heddle and Marnie McBean, who won three gold medals. They're still the only Canadians to have won this many gold medals. One obvious thing from looking at Canada's stats is that their female population is more athletic. Up next, at number four, Germany. The Germans earned equal gold and silver at the Olympics, tallying 293 medals for each. Add their 306 bronze medals, and they have won a solid 892 medals. Without a doubt, their most accomplished athlete is Catherine Boron, who has bagged four gold medals in Olympic rowing. Interestingly, besides winning gold medals in double and quadruple schools over the years, she claimed her bronze in 2008 as a mother. Catherine earned eight world titles. Statistically, she collected 12 gold medals, five silver, one bronze, and a fourth in just 19 total Olympic and world championship appearances. The only thing keeping her from being the first woman to achieve gold in five Olympics was an unfortunate ankle injury that ruled 18-year-old Catherine out of the 1988 Olympics. Next at number three, Japan. Japan is the next country on our radar with 183 gold, 172 silver, and 200 bronze medals. Accumulating a whopping 555 medals in total, the Japanese are currently specialist in one particular game, Judo, an art so close to home that it historically dates back to the ancient samurai hand combat called Jujitsu. Since 1964, Japan has sent 50 Jodokas to the Olympics, with a total of 84 medals returned. Despite the cap of one athlete per weight class for each country, Japan has won medals in at least half of the weight classes on every Olympic appearance since 1964, the sport's debut. But enough about judo, because interestingly, the most prolific Japanese Olympian is the gymnast Towo Kato. With eight Olympic golds, Kato has the most gold medals of any Japanese Olympian, while also holding the most Olympic men's gymnastics titles. The five foot three athlete was part of historic Japanese domination in the 60s and 70s, as his nation won five straight Olympic team titles. Moving on to number two, China. To back up their 275 goals, the Chinese bagged 227 silver and 194 bronze medals, amassing 696 total Olympic medals. Yes, you probably guessed it. The Chinese are surely masters of table tennis, a sport that was already their unofficial national sport before it was added to the Olympic program in 1988. China swept up all the individual medals in 2008. So, as an intervention, countries were limited to two athletes in each singles competition. Thankfully, at least someone else can win a bronze now. Clearly, China has more than plenty of Olympic-level table tennis players because now they've even started exporting them. Yeah, you heard that right. According to the New York Times, more than 44 of the 172 table tennis players at the Rio Games were born in China. More recently, China has also diversified its Olympic capacity and begun to mark itself in diving as well. The Chinese have collected 40 gold medals thus far, only eight behind the United United States, who had an 80-year head start. Guess they're really catching up on all fronts. Finally at number one is the United States. Last but not least, let's hear it for the United States of America with a whopping 2,980 medals. The States is currently the most decorated nation at the Olympics. The runners-up aren't even anywhere close. The United States has won the gold medal 1,180 times while securing silver and bronze 959 and 841 times, respectively. What's their forte, you may ask? It's none other than basketball, a game they dominate so supremely that they only once failed to obtain a medal since the sport was added to the Olympic program. The defeat came only as a result of the United States boycott of the 1980 Moscow Olympics. The men's basketball team has won 15 of the 19 gold medals ever awarded, while the women's team has won 8 of the 11. Despite that, the most triumphant American athlete is Michael Phelps. Everybody knows this guy. Not only has he dominated the sport of swimming, but he has also become the most decorated American Olympic athlete in history. In his 16-year career spanning from 2000 to 2016, Phelps has racked up an impressive 28 medals, of which 23 are gold. He holds more medals to his name than entire countries. Even though basketball is the most successful sport for Americans, their number two athlete is also a swimmer. Jenny Thompson has won 12 medals, of which which eight are gold in her career.
career spanning from 1992 to 2004. This can't be a coincidence. That's a wrap for this video. Comment below and let us know which country you're from. Is there any country we missed that's amongst the greatest? Let us know. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.